this is too easy, you can go further down. We're going to swap to one shoulder. And for me, working that correctly has really helped me connect my lower body and my upper body. And that feeling strong makes my whole body work together. Your core is going to lead the, the ankle for the legs to be extended, right? Because you don't need weights on the ankles. For that, to, the, the further you get away, the more exponentially more weight that's putting for me to stay strong here. Just think about, we're not out here, knees slightly in, heels drive away. And then you can, if you want, you can let the shoulders roll as well. So the head's going to be on this side, keep the shift the weight slightly here. And as you push off the weight shift to that side. There you go. There you go. The point of this is, I can move forward and that balance point can stay Oh, I can shift my weight from my left to my right foot and my, my balance hasn't changed at all, right? You can see that whether I'm on my left foot or my right foot, I've not had to, sh to move around to stay that point. Now I can also do that and I've not, I've not shifted my centre of mass. My centre of mass is the exact same point, whether I'm here or here, because I'm just, if I'm staying perfectly balanced, right? That's not shifting, whereas if I'm moving between legs and it's going like this, that balance point is pinging and ping-ponging around. So the more I can figure of 80, the more I can move forward, and that centre point is never deviating. My balance point is never deviating left or right of the centre line. The foot that's on the floor, the elbow should swing past as that foot hits the floor. Four, four, four. So if you just think about that elbow down, screwing that elbow in, Getting out of bed, right? You wake up in the morning. Don't know if you bet anyone got a bed on the floor or sleeps on the floor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cool. That's my bed's on the floor as well, so I don't get to just sit up and I'm already halfway up. I have to get out of bed. If you can get off the floor with 10, 16, 20, 30 kilos with that, like getting off the floor with just your body, man, you know, is, is going to be a lot easier. We're doing everything. We're horizontal with the press and we're vertical and we're everything in between. Simply moving and exploring might be might be exactly the the movement that you need. Thinking about keeping that TVA kind of engaged. So my brain, I'm still putting my brain back. When we're in crawling, when my head's in front of my knee, and I drive off that knee, which way is all my force is driving down backwards, and my head, which is the biggest weight on my body, is going in a straight line forwards. Boom. If my head's over here, when I push off that knee, well then, some force is going to push me that way. So the more I can place this heavy weight, that's the furthest part of my body from there, in front of it, and I put energy backwards into it, all of my force, goes forwards if I'm here and I push up that knee is going there when we run we're running off one leg at a time so that what helps me go from my left knee to my right knee 
without having to shift sideways is the figure of eight. So this shoulder's here, I'm on this knee, I'm driving forwards, all of my line is that way, and then kind of this late shift happens, boom, and I'm suddenly, my head's over here. I'm driving forwards, boom, and over here. This applies to the run, to sprint. The figure of eight is, does become the key to the weight shift from left to right without any energy. We, in the beginning, it's okay to do boom, boom, but the more we're able to start to get that roll in, that's what allows it to happen. So, more streamlined. More streamlined. It's the, the center of gravity and shift. It's, it's this straight boom, boom, boom. Um, which is an exaggerated version when you're running. It's really so, much more subtle than that, but it's there. Right? We know that maybe we can then shrink it down. I'll add the cue, because some people have already got that, of internal with the knee. So I'm not, a lot of people are used to animal flow and it's going to be a habit and they have to break. I mean, it's okay to do that, but we want to learn. This is one that's more biomechanically applicable to walking and running, is knee and heel kind of aligned. As I drive, there's a slight rotation in. And this is how we get maximum tension and torque through the body, rather than this, which is used for jumping, two foot jumping, for one foot it's more of an internal. So, shoulder down, through, shoulder down. And it can either be internal or just straight. We're not trying to open the hips when we move one leg. When it's on the swing, then relax. Relax. Move from the hips. Ooh, relax. I keep doing these things. As well, relax the shoulder. That's it, exactly. Relax. As soon as you add weight, that's not happening. Or you're you having to put the weight out here to do it. So this stack in here is the most economical way to do it. Boom. Then I'll stack. Roll and that, right? It's puzzle is the, the most efficient way of problem solving with the body. Do not run it, but are perpetually stored in infinite space and they will come back to us in due time. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We can do a little, can do a little push. <laughs> They're cool though. They Good shout, Rory. Right, yeah, it's from one for kids, like, they enjoy. It's all the bank. Here we go. Oh, well, start, let's start. Oh, 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 Favorite scene or part? Yeah. Okay. Um, for some reason, I was really interested in that. What happens once Shams and Rumi just sort of lock themselves together? And it's yearning, and it requires love, mm. and it requires surrender. And that's the love that Rumi has for Shams, and that's the love we have for our beloved. And we all have it from all walks of faith. Whoever it is, we fall in love with that, the one that shows us the name of the one, mm. the one that reminds us. That's what faith is, and it comes in very different shapes and forms. It's just the one that reminds me of my beloved. I'm like, I'm in their feet. 
because you've shown me my beloved. So that's that's what I remember from that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Well, the things can go off, and we don't even know how it should feel here first. Then we can add the hands in. We're on the knees, we're on the Swiss ball on the knees. We're learning what's happening here before we're adding to on the extra joints. It's just positions, holding positions, getting stronger positions. Well, I think coil is like a spring, right? So there's this downward rotation of the ribs and the hip happening that allows us to load and release. That you see in all, you know, discus, hammer throw, jab and shot, but like in all that to get the maximum out of something. It's, a, it's in the biomechanics it's a, a lot of movements. Exhale, the ribs. Set the belt and around the waist. Inhale. Exhale. Rest. Go screw. Hips to the sky. Screw both shoulders in. Hands. Windle up. This is what up. It's pretty heavy one like this. I thought you were working out with her. Yeah, I always thought I'd got that one. Yeah, do that on the other side as well. So we How cool would it be? Have you seen a picture of like uh, the insides of a duck's mouth? Ducks are Does a duck make? Gagan's like, yeah, that's fine. I've been warming up with You can them. drop it at your feet. You can hit it down that way, that way. You just can't hit it behind, okay. right? If if someone stumps you, they get the ball and they go and touch the, the post before you get to that post or past it, you're out. Okay. So you can stay at the last one. Yeah. Let's find out. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Go We're going to go on the outside. Outside. Oh, oh, Amazing. Second, yeah, get yeah, the second, yeah. get the second. How, how many times did we get through already? Ah! Oh, good. Fuck! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on. 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 Red flag, blue flag, they're all the same. The only place to see truth is by seeing the game. It's ugly but true and it rules our earth, but not when we stand and not when we're heard. You 
can hear them singing to the sun. It's the sound of the river as it moves across the stone. It's the sound of the river as it moves across the stone. Thank you.